Thanks so much, Kelly. Well, essential workers and staff at state-owned firms are getting injected under an urgent use protocol. Uh, Sinovac, which is one of the vaccine makers, is hopeful that it has a candidate that's going to be available soon, so much so that it's built a factory right here in Beijing solely dedicated to the coronavirus vaccine. We got to look inside. If China gets its way, this facility in Beijing will be among the first to produce vaccines to ward off the coronavirus. Sinovac built this factory in a matter of months with the goal of shipping 300 million doses a year. The company believes it's on track to start mass production as early as the end of this year. Uh, it's brand new, yeah. The vaccine, called Coronavac, is based on a traditional method using an inactivated virus to get the body's immune system to kill off the real virus. Well, this type of technology is mature and has been proved to be uh, useful, to be effective among different kinds of vaccines. NASDAQ listed Sinovac as one of six vaccines globally in final stage clinical trials. Half the contenders are Chinese. Sinopharm has priced its vaccines at $142. Cancino isn't on the list, but is working with China's military and has a patent from Beijing. The Chinese vaccines are being tested in the public, too, on medical workers and volunteers at state firms. Sinovac believes it couldn't have ramped up so quickly without government fast-track approvals, subsidies, and other support. These labs are empty now, but they're soon going to be filled with technicians testing the coronavirus vaccine. Preparing for mass production at a moment's notice. And Kelly, Sinovac is listed on the NASDAQ, but its shares have been suspended for well over a year because of a boardroom battle. So if investors are interested in the company, they're still going to have to wait for a while. Well, and everyone's interested in whether this is effective and just how China was able to do it. Eunice, thanks very much for peeking back, peeling back the curtain a little bit, I should say. Eunice Yoon in Beijing for us.